In triangle PQR, PQ equals 7, QR equals 8, and RP equals 10. Find the measure of angle R. And this time, look, I don't, I'm not giving you a triangle. We're going to have to draw it. So let's draw a triangle. Label it P, Q, R. And we have PQ equal to 7. And PQ is this one, right? It's the one, it's the, it's the side that's labeled or in between P and Q. QR is 8. And RP is 10. And we need to find angle R. All right. Let's set up the cosine law. Now, the reason I'm saying cosine law is that it is the other scenario, side, 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 that I mentioned in the first video. So let's set it up, and we'll use R, P, Q, R, we may as well. We got R squared, that's the side angle that we're looking for, is equal to P squared plus Q squared minus 2 P, Q, cosine of R. And that is the angle we're looking for. So let's substitute everything we have. We know R is 7. We know P is 8. And we know Q is 10. Uh, be careful about that because this matters, right? You don't want to be finding side Q when you should have been finding side R. So let's plug in what we got. We got 7 squared is equal to 8 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 8 times 10 times the cosine of r. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply out each piece individually. So 7 squared is 49. 8 squared is 64. 10 squared is 100 minus... 2 times 8 is 16, times 10 is 160 cosine of r. Now, what we can do is we can combine these two, make it a little simpler. And we'll solve for the cosine of r. I will subtract. 164 from both sides. That gives me 115. Sorry, negative 115. Just let me check that. I'm not did that in my head rather quickly. Now, remember before when I was talking about the cosine law, I said that all of that, let's do it in red, is multiplied. So if we need cosine r by itself, we're going to divide both sides of this by negative 160. And I get the cosine of r equal to... 0.71875. Okay, now we're almost done. I'll just move up here. To find our angle, we'll use the inverse cosine of 0.71875. And I get angle R equal to... 44.05 degrees. So a little bit of algebra in this one. Um, just go through the steps and don't skip steps because we all know that as soon as we start skipping steps, we make mistakes. Um, go slowly and carefully and do it in the order that I did it. It didn't take me long to do the question. It won't take you forever. I squared. The important part are these steps here. Because if you do those slowly and carefully, you won't make mistakes. And that's, that's what we're looking for here.